Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a nine pointed star. So in the previous part of this video on that drawing pointed star we've looked at how to draw a five pointed star like what we are having here. We've also looked at how to draw a six pointed star. You can see this is it, a six pointed star. We've also looked at how to draw a seven pointed star. Actually there are two ways to go about it which is what we are having here. We've also looked at how to draw a eight pointed star using you know there are two method method one and method two so if you missed uh, the, all this video that's the previous part of it showing you all these things you can check the description of this video you'll find a link to those video but right now what we want to draw is how to draw a nine pointed star now if you look at what we are having here i have here method one the actually three method of drawing a nine pointed star which i'm going to be putting you through in the course of this video so before we get into this video proper um, if you are new to pa academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel please kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel PA Academy it's actually free to subscribe so go ahead now and then just click on the subscribe button to subscribe to PA Academy so and let me know in the comment section if you have just subscribed alright so thank you very much if you have just uh, subscribed so now let's get into this how to draw a nine pointed star method one now for you to draw a nine pointed star one thing you have to draw is a nonagon that is a polygon with nine sides if you look closely uh, what I'm having on this sheet, you see that I already have a poly, uh, a nonagon, a nice side. Look at it here. I have uh, a nonagon. You know, I just draw it before the video so that just to save time. But if you don't know how to draw a nonagon, you can check our playlist on technical and engineering drawing. You see a video there explaining how to draw a nonagon. I also leave a link to that video in the description of this particular video. So now, when you are drawing your nonagon, you draw it with a faint line. Because what we actually need is not the nonagon itself, but the vertices. That is the point. And that's the point I'm going to be identifying in this video now, right now. So these are the points that, that we actually need from the nonagon. So this all this point, let me call this this point A. Then this is point B. Point C. Point D. So this will be point E. Point F. So let's call this point G. H and then point I. So these points are the vertices. So either I may call points or vertices, I'm still saying the same. So these are the things that we need from the nonagon. So that's why I say I said earlier that when you are drawing your nonagon, draw it with a very, very faint line. That is a thin line. So I haven't done that. Now let's start to draw our nine pointed star. Our nine pointed star. So I'm going to be starting from point A. So in this method one, like I have here, you can see method one. What you are going to do is you are going to draw a line from point A to point C, skipping point B. So we are going to be drawing a line from one point, that's from one vertex, to another vertex, skipping one vertex. So this is what I mean. So from point A, so these lines we are going to be drawing, we are going to be drawing it with a bold line. So from point A to point C, with a bold line, skipping point B, as you can see here. So now from point C again, we are going to draw a line from point C straight to point E, skipping point D. So we are going to be having something like this. So from point C to point D, I mean to point E, skipping point D. So we repeat the same process from point E to point G, skipping point F. As you can see, so now from point G to point I, skipping point H. So just follow along. What you are going to do, draw a line from one point to, the, uh, to another, skipping one. Now from point I, we are going to skip point A and go draw a line to point B, B. So make sure the lines are straight from those points. And then from point B straight to point D, we are skipping point C. So let's do that. So from point B to point D. Now from point D to point F, skipping point E. So just follow the concept, I believe it, by now you should be familiar with what I'm doing. So you skip one vertex and then you go to the next one, you draw a line. So this is it. Now from point F, you go to point H, skipping point G. So let's do this. So don't forget this is still the method one. We are still going to be looking at two other methods. And now we are going to do from point H to point A. So this is it, a nine-pointed star, and this is the method one. All right, so now let's go to the method two. 
so welcome back and this is now the method two so this is another uh, another new sheet and if you look closely i already have my nonagon nonagon so now let's identify the vertices so this is it this point point eight and don't forget like i said in the beginning when you are drawing your nonagon gun draw it with a faint line this is uh, vertices a b this is that of c d e f g point h and then point i now that we've identified the vertices now let's draw the lines that will give us the nine pointed star so we are we are going to be starting from point a like we did in the method one but this time around we are going to be drawing a line from point a straight to point d skipping point c and point b and point c now we are going to draw a line from one vertex to another vertex skipping two uh two other vertex vertices so this is what i mean so from point a we are going to skip two vertices that is vertices b and vertex c we are going to skip these two and go to point d so the lines that we are going to be drawing that we are going to draw it make it bold so we are going to be having something like this then from point d we are going to skip two vertices so now we are going to be skipping this point e and point f and we are going to draw a line straight from point d to point g so we are going to be having something like this and now from point g we are going to skip two vertices point we are going to skip point h that's vertex h and vertex i and draw a line from point g straight to point a So from point G straight to point A. So this is what we are going to be having. So what we've just done, now we are going to now start again from point B. Because if you have to take it from point A again, it will take us to point D. So now we are going to start from point B. So from point B, skipping to vertex now we are going to skip vertex, uh, vertex C and vertex D. So we are going to draw a line from point B straight to point E. So from point B straight to point E. So if you are finding value in this video, uh, kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you are really understanding it, let me know in, uh, in the comment section below if we are actually getting it at that to this point. Now from point E, we are going to skip points F and G and draw a line to point H. That's to vertex H. And now from vertex H, we are going to be skipping vertex I and vertex A and join a line to vertex B. So you are going to right now is what our draw is looking at. So we are going to repeat this process again from C. So from C, we are going to be skipping vertex D and vertex E and draw a line to vertex F. So from vertex C, we draw a line to vertex F. From vertex F, so if you have been following, then you should be able to get it directly. So from F, you are going to be drawing it to vertex I, skipping these two. So let me just come this way. And then from vertex I straight to vertex C. So these are the two we are skipping, A and B. So like I said, if you are finding value in this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Give it another thumbs up. So now this is the method 2. This is what we are having in method 2. So before we go to method 3, let's quickly compare this method 2 and method 1. So this is what method 2 is and this is method 1. So this is method 1 and this is method 2. Now let's go to method 3 and let's see what we are going to be having. Alright, so welcome back. Now let's look at the example three. Now, for example three, also just like the previous two, I mean the method three rather, just like the other two method you looked at, we use the enonagon is very important. And if you look closely, I'm having a nonagon here on this sheet. There's a nonagon, but you know, like I said, make it very faint. What we just need are the vertices. So let's now uh, let me just note the vertices. I believe that will be clear enough. So let, this is it. This is vertex A. So this is that of B. And this is that of C. So before I continue, if you are confused that what are the points and marking, so let me just do a freehand sketch of uh, a nonagon. Remember, it has nine sides. So if you have a nonagon like this, so that will be a nine-sided polygon. So so now all these points here are the things that we need. So those are the things that I'm adding and uh, marking. These, these are the vertices. 
So all these points are the vertices. So you can, if you look at, so those are the things that I'm marking here. So in case you are not seeing the nonagon clearly, but what we just need, like I said, are the vertices. So this is to be point D. And then this will be point E. This is point F. Point G. So if I say point G, I still mean that is vertex G. Then that of H. And then vertex I. So we've gone ahead to identify the vertices uh, for the nona, uh, in the nonagon. So now let's go ahead and start drawing the lines that will give us our nine pointed star. So that like uh, unlike the method one and method two, but for this method three, what we are going to do, we are going to be drawing a line starting from point A now. So you can start from anywhere. You can decide to start from point A, from vertex A, B, or anywhere. But I'm, I just choose to start from A. This time around, we are going to be skipping three vertices, and then we are going to be drawing a line to the fourth one. This is what I mean. So from point A of vertex A, we are going to be drawing a line to vertex E. That means we are skipping one, two, and three vertices and drawing a line straight to vertex A. I mean vertex E. This is what I mean. So from point A now, we are going to draw a line from vertex A to vertex E. So in drawing that line, that means we have skipped what? One, two, three. We've skipped three vertices. So having done that, so from point E, which is vertex E, we are also going to skip three. We are going to skip F, G, and H and draw a line to vertex I. So this is what it's going to be looking like. So now from vertex I, you skip three, you skip A, B, and C, and then we draw it to point to that of D. Then same thing from point D, you skip E, F, G, and then draw it to H. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you don't know how to draw a nonagon, I will leave a link in the description of this particular video showing you how to draw a regular nonagon. So now from point H, you are going to skip 1, 2, 3 and draw it to C. So from C now, you are going to skip D, E and F, you are going to draw it to G. So if you have watched to this point and you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please take out time to actually subscribe to PA Academy. It's actually is absolutely free to subscribe. So from G now, we are going to skip vertex H, I and A, then drawing it to point B. So from G, we come to that of B. And then from B, we are going to skip C, D, E and then to F, straight to F. So from F, we are going to skip G, H, I, and then straight to A. So this will be the last one. As you can see now, we already have our nine pointed star. This is it. So this is first star. This is the nine, well, first point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can see we already have our nine pointed star. So now let's compare these three methods together and let's look at what's, what's the difference. So I want you to look at this three method. So this is method one. This is method two. And this is method three. So, so this method three. Here we have method one, method two, and so let me know uh, what you think is what uh, difference did you notice in the three in the three method that I've just shown you, and uh, which of this method do you think uh, looks more easy or looks more like a nine pointed star to you? So, either method one, is it method one, is it method two, and method three? So, let me know what you think in the comment section below. So, if you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are still yet to subscribe, please, please, it's absolutely free. Just click on that subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Then also check out uh, the description of this video. I'm going to be leaving links to other videos like I, that I showed you earlier. How to draw um, a five-pointed, this is a six-pointed star. How to draw a six-pointed star. So I'm going to be showing you how to draw a five-pointed star, seven-pointed star. Actually, two methods to go about it. How to draw eight-pointed star. 
you know and even how to draw a nona gun i'm going to be leaving all those links in the description of this particular video so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in another video thank you